Good to meet you and congratulations. Uh, you have won winners of two awards, the Top 20 Award and the 2021 South African Small Business Champion Award. And uh, as most people will say in the industry, that's prize number one. So, uh, Lukaku, congratulations. And your, and your, and your, your story is amazing. You know, it's, it's come resilience, positivity, uh, and you've, you've kind of, I know you, you kind of started this idea at, at, at when you were at school, but in fact, you, you only yeah. really started your business in July 2019, if I'm correct. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, started in July 2019, um, but it was definitely a very, very long journey, you know, just before um, July uh, 26, uh, 2019. So, yeah. And, and, and what's amazing, you know, we all know that the future of unemployment, alleviating unemployment is coming from the small business sector. You know, that's the biggest solution across South Africa and the world. And I see that you already, I'm looking at some paperwork, if you don't mind me, you already have over 124 people. And by the end of uh, uh, 2000, into this year, you will have over 20 retail outlets. That's a phenomenal growth. Yes, definitely, definitely. You know, I'm just looking back um, two years ago, um, I was just the only person selling, um, um, using Uber and Taxify delivering sneakers to now having at least 150 employees today. You know, wow. it's, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing um, on, on, on how, you know, South Africa actually um, accepted the brand and started supporting the brand. You know, over the weekend, I always check on social media and see queues just outside our stores. You know, people actually um, um, buying the shoes and, and, and accepting us with warm hands. So it's, it's really, really amazing and humbling. And look how we need, this country needs more people like you and uh, well done on that. You know, I know that a lot of your staff are in the younger generation, which is amazing. It's the youth of the future, uh, entrepreneurship. So, so certainly great to hear. But if you don't mind me asking, uh, uh, look how, wh wh why did you start your business? And what makes your journey so unique? Um, poverty is the one that influenced um, the start. You know, for me, it wasn't a genius idea or me, you know, trying to be this great entrepreneur. I was, I was, I was forced to go into business by my circumstances, like many other young South Africans. So um, it actually started back in 2003 when I was in grade eight. Um, we were very, very poor. So I was coming from primary school. And then like, um, I didn't know that we were poor, just the normal child up until I went to the big school in, in grade eight. Um, I'm eating at a tech shop. There is now a tech shop. Uh, and I, I started realizing that I didn't afford this. I didn't have these clothes. There's probably a, a, a problem at home. And um, when one day they asked us to come wearing our home clothes and the first time around, I saw that people were actually coming with branded clothes and it was just hard for some of us who didn't actually have clothes. And the second time around, I was like, okay, this time around, I just want to go there and be unique so that I can also get attention. And, you know, I was still young so that I can also get attention from girls and, and be cool at school as well. So I designed my own outfit because my grandmother taught me how to sew. I designed my own outfit, including the backpack, the cap and the shoes as well. And the most um, unique thing about the shoes is that they were actually recycled. So I used an old tone sneaker. I put um, denim on top of the sneakers. And throughout my high school career, because now people are actually interested in my products, you know, started sewing um, clothing for them and, and sneakers as well. So that is how I actually started, you know, having love and interest in, in um, making clothes and, and, and shoes as well. So my whole high school career, I was that kid that was actually just you know, trying to make ends meet at home. And I, I, I was contributing into um, 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 the grocery as well at home. But I failed my metric, you know. So I had to um, rewrite again the following year in 2008. And my peers were already far ahead of me because now I had to go back to school in 2009. But I didn't have money. I didn't have great marks. And that said, okay, it's cool. What do you do? So I started a cleaning services company that failed uh, I, I was involved in, in poultry. I was selling eggs. So I was just that one child that was just busy all over the place trying to sell things. And in all those processes, I was, I was learning so much about business. Even when it failed, it contributed into my, you know, um, 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 brains of business, you know. So the 16 years, the past 16 years of my life, I was just involved in business, trying to sell things, you know, trying to get to meet the president, whoever that I, that, that was just very influential. And up until I decided, you know what, um, I needed capital. What can I do to get capital? So I, I registered myself into uh, an NQF level three of civil engineering at an FET college, free 
um, um, government school. I went there for three years, studied, and then I got a job in a construction site. So I worked for at least two years. I had enough capital. Then I looked back, what is it that I can do? I had a, a, a poultry farm. I had a, a shisanyama. All those businesses failed, you know? And I was like, um, now I have the capital. What is it that I can go back to? And in my mind, the first thing that came to my mind was sneakers you know, because of hip hop influence, because it was the first thing that actually introduced me to business. So I started doing my research, following about your Nike, your Adidas, your Puma, you know, all these big brands that existed. And I started borrowing from their um, um, concepts and ideas. And that is how I actually developed Drip. Wow. And look, you've shared a few challenges with me in the last few moments, but can you highlight your biggest challenge and how you overcame that? Uh, um. You know, most of the times we think that some businesses actually need money, you know, and then you get the money from someone, you borrow money from someone, you establish only to find out the location that you are, you, are, you, are, you have your business in is not the best. And one of the businesses that I was involved in was selling eggs. So in the townships, we have this um, foreign um, 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 national as puzzle shops that exist right now. And then I used to distribute eggs for them. But um, it was very, very competitive because um, egg prices actually fluctuate. Where you go and stock a box of, of um, 50 trays might be 300, tomorrow might be 400. So they fluctuate. And someone might come and beat you with the price that you sell. And then you have stock that you can't move. So those were some challenges that I was actually faced um, um, with. And then you make a loss because you're trying to be competitive up until I actually was out of business. So... Um, Owning the value chain was one of the things that actually led me into saying, okay, maybe if I have my own chickens that produce eggs, I can be able to beat the prices. And then the chickens also is another in, in industry as well, another field um, that we have to learn and understand. They're very sensitive. Um, the feed is, is expensive as well. So I was now involved in something that is much more different by trying to own the value chain. I was also kicked out because they died. I didn't have much knowledge as well. So yeah, those are the challenges that I actually learned as I went into um, um, finally launching Drip Food to Web. Great. And look how you know, the, the, the startup revolution, the global renaissance, you know, entrepreneurship is the flavor of the day. And of course, there are many young people who are afraid to start a business. And uh, those who have just started a business, what advice can you give those new startups and those young people out there who are looking at starting their own business? What advice can you give them? Um, I can say um, you, must, you must have a solid business plan. You know, you must have a Bible. You know, your Bible must be your, 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 your business plan. And then also get a mentor. You know, um, um, I, I, I always look back myself and say, if I had a mentor throughout all those years, I would have learned um, um, what to do, what not to do. And then you must always um, follow your, 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 your passion. You know, I am very, very passionate about sneakers. I have always had, but like um, what led me into doing other things was just a desperation of, of starvation and poverty. But looking back and when I had the capital, I was like, let me just follow my heart and then stick to it. So I'm um, always stick to your passion. If you are an artist, if you paint, do that and then take advantage of social media. Right now we have, um, um, we, we have social media that is a lot of people you know have a lot of group groups of people that are in one platform that you can always just be able to advertise to right, which is social media i took the advantage of social media so have a, a mentor get try to get a mentor um stick to your passion and and always start small you know do not give up uh, so those are the advices that i can actually give to um, um young people right Lakao, the brainchild, the founder of Drip Footwear, uh, it's an incredible story. And, uh, you know, it's, I, I get emotional when I talk to people like you. Uh, we're really proud of you. The nation is very proud of you. The media, our partners are very proud of you and your story and your business. And uh, I know that the, uh, your, your full story will come out in the next edition of My Business Mag. So uh, stay close to us, Lakao. Uh, help us to... Uh, generate an amazing nation of entrepreneurship. And uh, I look forward to following your continued story. And we wish you all the very best in your continued success journey ahead. Thank you for joining me.